breaking news welcome to today's headlines Twenty twenty three elections shouldn't be our topic. Unam Dekano's lawyer on terrorists attacking Southern Kaduna. Twenty twenty three elections shouldn't be our topic. Unam Dekano's lawyer on terrorists attacking Southern Kaduna. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned. As I read to this news, Aloy Ejimako, a special counsel to Unam Dekano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, has reacted to the terrorist attack in Southern Kaduna. Ejimako said the terrorist attack in Nigeria. Should be top should be current topic and not the 2023 elections. He stated this while sharing a report of a terrorist attacking Southern Kaduna with a helicopter on his Twitter handle. Terrorists in Nigeria's airspace should be the dominant topic, not 2023 elections. But it is not why he queried. Daily Post gathered that the assailants will invade the Unguan Gamo, Dogonoman, Unguan Circular, and Maikori communities, allegedly with helicopters, also burned several houses. The district head of Kaduna, Titus Dauda, told Channel's television that the attacks occurred on Sunday and that 32 people lost their lives, while a church and several houses were destroyed in the process. Dauda added that the bandits, in their large numbers, first attacked Dugon Numa in the early hours of Sunday morning and killed several people, mostly men, before proceeding to Unguan, Gamu and Maikori villages, where they also killed people and burnt their houses. Aloy Ejimako, a special counsel to Unam Dikano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypo has reacted to the terrorist attack in Southern Kaduna. Ejimako said the terrorist attack in Nigeria should be the current topic and not the 2023 elections. He stated this while sharing a report of terrorists attacking Southern Kaduna with a helicopter on his Twitter handle. Terrorists in Nigerian airspace should be the dominant topic, not 2023 elections. But it is not why he queried. Daily Post Daily Post gathered that the assailants who invaded the Unguan Gamo, Dogonoma, Unguan Sakil and Maikori communities, allegedly with helicopters, also burned several houses. The district head of Kufena, Titus Dauda, told Channels Television that the attacks occurred on Sunday and that 32 people lost their lives, while a church and several houses were destroyed in the process. Dauda added that the bandits, in their large numbers, first attacked Dogon Noma in the early hours of Sunday morning 
and killed several people, mostly men, before proceeding to Unguan, Gamo, and Maikori villages, where they also killed people and burnt down houses. Haloi Jimako, a special counsel to Unamdekano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, high has reacted to the terrorist attack in Sultan Kaduna. Ejimako said the terrorist attack in Nigeria should be the current topic and not the 2023 elections. He stated this while sharing a report of terrorists attacking Sultan Kaduna with a helicopter on his Twitter handle. Terrorists in Nigerian airspace should be the dominant topic, not 2023 elections. But it is not. Why? He queried. Daily Post gathered that the assailant who invaded the Unguan Gamu, Dogonoma, Unguan Sakil and Maikori communities allegedly with helicopters also burned several houses. The district head of Kofena, Titus Dauda, told Channels Television that the attacks occurred on Sunday and that 32 people lost their lives while a church and several houses were destroyed in the process. Dauda added that the bandits, in their large numbers, first attacked the gun Numa in the early hours of Sunday morning and killed several people, mostly men, before proceeding to Unguan, Gamo, and Maikori villages, where they also killed people and burnt down houses. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.